Hi there guys, a very brief little video here and this is just to cover, um, I'm doing a bit of science. Now down there in this little, this is a little stainless steel pan which um, if I can, as you can see there, little stainless steel pan which, I, which is something I've used in the past for mixing paints actually for, for model painting and inside of it is a crown, a watch crown, which has stem broken off flush inside it. I, it's difficult to see there, but I've actually filed a slot in it to try and unscrew the broken stem, which was unsuccessful, that didn't work. And I tried heating it and unscrewing it, all kinds of things, um, without any real success, uh, well, without any success at all. And because it's an unusual crown, I've tried to get a replacement and I can't readily, easily get a replacement um, in the correct thread diameter for the stem, as I discovered, because the replacement I did get was for a larger thread stem. Um, so having tried everything else, I thought I would give this a try, which is something I read about. And this is water mixed with this stuff, which is alum powder. And it says on it, um, generally used as a preservative in pickling recipes to maintain crispness of fruits and vegetables and also dissolving ferrous metals. So, interestingly, all that time and effort spent in trying to catch Magneto, all they really needed to do was preserve a stick of celery in this alum powder and, and throw it to him to munch on, you know, but there you go. Uh, so yes, it dissolves ferrous metals. So if you've got a lump of, of metal, like uh, non-ferrous metal, like brass or something similar, uh, with a bolt sheared off in it, a stud or something like that, and you stick it in a solution of water and alum powder, um, warmed gently, which seems to help the reaction. You can see that fizzing and bubbling away there from the middle. Uh, it will dissolve the ferrous metal. These little particles floating about, I believe, are little bits that have sort of dissolved away. It's been in there maybe 20 minutes or so, and it has dissolved about two millimetres of it. And I keep taking it out and having a poke in there with... Um, with this scalpel blade and this uh, thin screwdriver from my uh, from my watch screwdrivers, which I'm gonna have to reshape the tip on, and I've just got some um, some um, self-locking tweezers there to hold it in because obviously it's quite warm as you can imagine. And this is just sat on on the electric um, cooker top to keep this simmering away uh, because the reaction seems to work faster if it's heated. I did try it with cold mixture, heated it to dissolve the powder and then left it cold, but it crystallizes and you have to warm it up to liquefy it again. And it seemed to take weeks and about three weeks before it did anything. Whereas this is reacting much more quickly. So, um, so there you go. We're, we're doing a bit of science. It's, it's great. It's like, um, it's like watching Johnny ball again at school in the, um, science hour or, you know, when they wheel the TV into the room. Youngsters today, you probably won't know what that is. Back when, back when I was a kid, they used to have a TV on a trolley with a video player, which got wheeled into the room, and, and it was exciting times when that happened because you knew you were going to watch some cool sort of sciencey stuff or, or something similar. I don't know, you probably all have individual iPads and stuff nowadays, I guess. So there you go. Um, it's fizzing away. It's slowly dissolving it. And um, if this, uh, hopefully this is going to be handy to somebody having a look. Uh, if you've got, say, a screw broken off inside of a, a watch plate or uh, pretty much anything that's, you know, if you need to get rid of something that's ferrous metal out of something that's not, then this stuff. All I did is, uh, I ordered that from Amazon, incidentally, because apparently you can readily buy that from grocery stores in the US, but seemingly not in the UK, although I do live in the back of beyond, which doesn't help. Um, but the, uh, all I did was I put enough water in to cover the crown and then I just added, uh, the powder and just stirred and it dissolved and I added a bit more, I stirred and it dissolved and I think I put about three teaspoons worth in or thereabouts and it seems to be doing okay with that. So, so hopefully this will be useful for somebody and, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.